hey guys what we're gonna be doing today is very very wonderful please pay attention i'm gonna be teaching you something very important today that is how to create an account on clickbank or fiverr or digital 24 in any part of the world you are if you are in a country like nigeria you are in in ghana any african country you are in india or any country bangladesh that doesn't accept um that, that doesn't accept uh clickbank maybe clickbank disabled the country fiverr doesn't uh, want uh, the country to create the account or stuff like that now i'm going to be teaching you guys how to create the account in any part of the world where you are that means if you've been trying to access a particular website and they are not giving you access to accept access that website maybe the website is telling you that your country is not allowed to access this website what i'm going to be teaching you is a legitimate way to create account in or to access that particular website now for example now i'm going to be using clickbank as a case study now clickbank is an affiliate network and myself i'm an affiliate marketer and what i teach in this particular uh training like my channel is all about it's mainly affiliate marketing right mainly affiliate marketing so if you've been interested or you've been searching for how to make money online or you want to make money online and you are actually interested in affiliate marketing or clickbank or stuff like that i want you to go ahead now and subscribe to this channel go ahead and so what you're going to do right now is to actually subscribe to my channel just hit the subscribe button right now and click this particular bell turn on the bell notification and click on all what you're going to do is that anytime i upload a new video you you will be part of the first person to actually watch the video you're going to get a notification that i've uploaded a video on how to make money online and you can watch the video right so if you have actually done this thing now so let's go ahead and uh to start the training proper so i'm going to actually uncover the topics we have to cover today as you can see here the first step we are the first step in doing this thing is actually to create or buy or access free rodp we're going to actually create buy or access free rodp some of you guys might be asking what is mean of RDP or stuff like that. Maybe you have not heard the word before. Let's actually check on the internet. You can see I would say what is what is RDP. A minute. You can see RDP is actually Microsoft Remote Desktop Protocol, right? That is the meaning of RDP. We remote desktop protocol and it's owned by Microsoft. So I'm going to be telling you what this allows you to do and how it functions. Now, it actually allows you to have access to a remote computer, like on a particular location. You can, you can actually be able to browse any location in the world you want to browse as if you are in that location, secured one. I mean, very, very secured. I've been using this thing over the time, over and over again, very secured. You can be in UK and decide to access Nigeria. You can be in Nigeria and decide to access US. And you're going to be browsing as if you're in US. This is not VPN, right? It's not like all this VPN stuff. That is actually RDP. If you actually check on Google right now, you're going to see details about it. You can see the uh, provides remote display and input capacity over network connections or Windows based application and so stuff like that. But the summary is actually what I've given you now. So, how do you go about this? Now, many persons actually go on Google and actually buy this stuff, but I'm going to be teaching you how to get it for free. That is RDP. It's actually sued. Let's say you want to actually get a US RDP. Now you're going to ask uh, how to get US RDP. You're going to see a bunch of people who are selling it. They're going to actually sell this to you. Yeah, it's actually sued, guys. But I'm going to be teaching you how to get this thing, especially for your very first month or even after your first month for free. You can actually get this thing for free. All right. So just pay attention in this training and make sure you subscribe. Now, the first thing we're going to actually do right now is to come here then i'm going to actually come here and create a microsoft account that is the first thing we're going to do here is to create an outlook account that is a microsoft outlook account so i'm going to come here and click and type on create so we're going to be doing everything on google uh microsoft or uh outlook anyone can see either you say outlook account or microsoft i can see it here create outlook account i'm going to click on that first first link there it's opening so you can see it here to create the account we are going to outlook.live.com or create signup.live.com whichever one you want to do you want to click anyone so i'm going to come to this second one now create account i'm going to click on that so we have to pay attention okay so once you come here now you have to actually put the email you want to use so you want to put the email you want to use let's say the email you actually want to use i'm going to use maybe something like uh, Prince Gideon, Prince Gideon, Iwe, 
or stuff like that at outlook.com so once I'm done I'm gonna click on next so once I'm now it's gonna bring me to this account ask me to create password so I'm actually gonna create my password right away so I'm gonna put my password you can see that here I'm gonna click on uh no no would I would like information on this blah 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 if you want I would like information tips and all about Microsoft products or services that if you want to receive emails about them you can check on check that button so here I will go ahead right now and put my first name and my last name let me just say that my first and my last name okay let me just use my real identity if you want you can use any identity I can come here and say I want to use maybe Prince Gideon for instance or let me use my real identity Gideon Ube. right I'm gonna click on next so it's asking me which country am I from of course I'm currently in Nigeria recording this video I'm gonna leave it at my base country and my date of birth so you can actually put your real date of birth if you want so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right away though what you're gonna put here is not actually that important so once you are done click on next So it's loading we're going to give it a time to load so as you can see right now it's loaded so the, they're actually going to give you a puzzle to solve they're going to ask you to pick maybe this one they say you should pick octopus i don't actually like this type of one so there are some that may ask you to actually arrange or rearrange a particular thing so um let's just try and know if we're going to get this one now i'm going to click on this uh, okay choose octopus another one let me say this is it if you are wrong, if we actually are wrong at the end, it's going to show us that we are wrong. Okay, they say we didn't get it right, right? So let's try another puzzle. Let's try another puzzle. Pick auto post again. So uh, you can actually check on Google if the puzzle is difficult. You can check the name on Google. Let me just uh, check octopus image on Google. So I'm going to choose this first one as the octopus. Let's proceed. So and this is it again. Second okay now this is it again third as octopus i think this is this should be it fourth uh this is it let's check i think we are right now right we've actually checked the right octopus so just check make a quick, a quick search on google it's going to show you the correct one so here you can say stay login yes i'm going to play don't show this again you can model whichever one let's say don't show this again yes is logging us into the account so guys as you can see our account is successfully created right so we have created our microsoft account you can see this our microsoft account um that is the first step in this process now what we're going to be using this microsoft account to do is actually to create something to do something very important so we so pay attention you can actually add your payment information here and if you add the payment information here, it's going to charge you a little amount, maybe like 400, 400 naira, or let's say um, about a one dollar or so. So you can actually do that. That is going to be for confirmation, but you don't add it here. So I'm going to show you where to add it. Okay. So once we are done in this first process, the second thing we're going to actually do right now is actually to come here. We are going to come to another page. Let's say here on this page now. What we're going to do is we are going to come to a, a, a website called azure.com azure azure.com that is a z u r e dot com so let's go there oh i think hope it's not logging me okay good now what it, once you come to azure.com the next thing you're going to do is actually to create an account so you can see here the site try free account or try azure for free or free account here i'm going to click on try azure for free just follow me step by step i hope i'm not rushing guys follow me step by step if you are missing any point you can actually pause the video and watch it over over and over again okay so once you come here i've clicked on that i'm going to click on start free start free here so on the start free section what i'm going to do next is to create my account to put in my details you're going to bring me to the sign up details where i'm actually gonna uh, put in my details 
okay the first thing is to log in to put in down my password as, as you can see or oh, it's logging me into uh a, another account that is my main account you can see this. i want to i don't want to log into this account i want to actually um maybe log into the new account we created right sign in with a different azure account uh, a different microsoft account so let me sign sign in with a different microsoft account so here oh we are seeing the same account right so what i'm going to do right now is I'm, I, I, I have to sign out out of that account so we can actually be able to sign into this account right now since it's signing me in into my main account all right that is good so is we are actually supposed to see this particular page where it's going to ask you like you that is doing it for the first time you are going to see a page that looks like this it's going to ask you to sign in to your microsoft account so i'm going to go back to our microsoft now you can see this was the account we created on microsoft so i want to copy in this email address that we use in creating the account oh a minute okay let me see let me just come here and copy the email address go back it's a new email address that's email address we just created the outlook address we created that is the outlook account we just created right now i want to copy this email address i'm going to click on copy copy address let me be sure that i copy the right address right okay i actually copy the web web address oh let me just look at it and maybe memorize it or stuff like that i'm going to look at it very well and maybe memorize it since i can highlight it okay that is prince gideon igwe at outlook.com so i'm going to come back to this place now to log in So I'm going to type it Prince Gideon Igwe at Outlook.com. So once I'm done typing, I'm going to click on Next. So it's asking me for the password. I'm going to actually put the password straight up. The password. Now the password I'm putting was the password I used to register for my microsoft remember we just registered for our microsoft account so that same email and password i use in registering for microsoft is what i'm actually putting in here guys so i'm going to click on yes stay signing i'm going to click on no i don't want to stay signing this account so it's loading so guys it's actually going to bring you to this sign up page where we are actually going to put in our details so you can see it here it's, it's going to automatically bring in your default country where you are your original country where you are right now so i'm doing this thing with uh mac i'm not using microsoft to do it so we can but the best the best to use is microsoft because i'm using apple laptop here that's why i'm using mac but if you're using maybe windows you can actually use microsoft because that is the best to use so it's going to be more easier for you but um i did my with mac i also did it again i have like two accounts i have another account or the same account with um my other laptop right so you can do it with other windows or mac whichever one you're using you can do it so right now we are actually going to fill in our details i'm going to fill in my correct details here so i'm going to fill in my details so i'm going to scroll down scroll down now this is the email address we created uh my phone number let me just put in one of my one of my numbers moment so once you put in your number you actually going to click on here this place can test me or call me whichever one you want use a different phone number to revive no i'm going to use a different phone number so i'm going to click on test me right now so once you click on test you it's actually going to test you're going to receive a message from from azure azure.com so with a code and you're actually going to put in the code let's just wait for a moment for the for the message to come in right all right so the message have actually arrived and uh, i'm going to actually put the test oh oop. i have multiple tests here let me just check this is that one that it is okay i think it should be this one eight six five two two zero so let me let me be sure that this is the message 
that came in because I have like multiple message from Azura that I've, I have actually received. So and um, that is eight six five two two zero. So once I'm I'm done, I'm going to click on verify, verify code. So let's wait for a moment. You can see I'm going to click on uh, I agree. Check all these boxes. I agree. So I'm going to click on that and click on next. It's, it has verified actually so that is why it brought me to this page as you didn't verify it will not bring me to this page so verify your mobile your real mobile number right use your main number where you get sms from and once you're done verifying it let's wait for a moment it's loading now it's going to bring you to this page once you're done and this page is very important where it's going to ask you to verify your card you can see verify your identity card now, as I told, earlier, told you earlier, when you were seeing Microsoft, uh, let's hold on here. I ask you that instead of putting your billing here, you actually going to verify it when you are using Azura, Azura.com rather. So here you're going to put in your card details, and it's going to charge you only one dollar, guys. Using your Mastercard, you're going to charge you one dollar, but make sure you use your real card. I mean your real card. So once you're done putting your card details here. I actually use my I use UBA Mastercard. If you're in Nigeria watching this video, I use UBA Mastercard for this. So you can use Fidelity Bank Mastercard. You can also use Bata Visual Card. Then, but I don't recommend you using Bata Bata Visa Card US based. You can use Bata Visa Card Nigerian own. So because this is purely Nigerian, you can see this is a Nigerian card. You can use your Nigerian card for this. And if you wish, want to use your Visa Card, that is not because but your default country is already in Nigeria. So make sure you use your normal country. The country you use the default card so once you're done putting your details your card details you click on sign up and it's going to bring you to a page i'm going to log into my main account so since i already have like two accounts with them i no need of creating a full account again because this is the last process of signing up once you put in your card details and click on sign up it's going to create accounts for you automatically and log you in so i'm going to actually log into my main account right now So guys, it's going to bring you to this page. If, if you didn't see this page, all you need to do is to click type portal.azure.com. So once you type portal.azure.com, it's going to ask you to log in with your details. Then log in with your details, right? So it's going to bring you to this page. Once you're done creating your account, you're going to see this page. But if you finish creating your account and it shows you the account creation is successful and you didn't see this page, then come and type portal.azure.com. Why I'm emphasizing it is because... So when you are doing it for the first time, you will be confused and say, okay, you didn't see this page because I believe this page is actually very, very important for you guys, right? So once you're done, I'm going to come here and click on Visual Machine. What you want to do today is actually, what we want to do right now is we want to create RDP account. We will actually create RDP machine, right? That you can actually use to assess any country, all right? So I'm going to come here and click on Visual Machine. It's loading. And once I click on visual machine, you can see I already have two here. I told you that this one is for my Microsoft. So why this one is for my Mac? So I have two already here. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to click on create. I'm going to click on visual machine. So then I click on that. So once I click on that, it's loading. It's going to bring me to this page. But let's just give it a moment to load, right? So it's loaded now. Now watch what you, you, we are seeing. It brought me to this uh, visual registration page. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven stages of creating the account, which is very, very simple. So just pay attention. It's quite easy. It, nothing confusing in it. So subscription name is showing me as well as well subscription one, and don't change anything there. Just come to this one and say instant instant details. Put in your visual machine. This is the name you want to name it. Like the first one I named, I know it in Visual Machine, like Gideon Machine. You can just put it any name. Let me say Gideon Machine 1, any name at all that you can remember. I can call it RDP Machine or whatever name you want to call it. It doesn't really matter. The name is not that important. Just call it any name, right? So here, what you want to do, what you want to do here, you want to choose the country you want to you want to focus on. Because me creating an account, I always, I love using UK. So you can actually use US or UK, whichever country you want to use. So I want to create RDP UK based account. This is what I'm teaching you to do right now. Normally you buy it, people sell it $10, $20, $100 and all that. 
five dollar. I don't add different amount, but I'm teaching you the way of getting this thing for free, right? So, and you're not paying me for this. You're not paying anyone to get it. You're getting it all for free. So, pay attention. So, you are actually going to choose any country you want to choose. In my own case, I've chosen the default to be U, uh, UK, that is Europe, UK West, you can or UK South, whichever one. So, uh, both of them are good. So, you can you choose any country you want to use for your account. Now, it's asking me for available options. So, if I click on this option here, I'm going to leave it at this same one, no infrastructure required. So, now, this one is very important. Now, make sure it's, it's at Windows Server 2019 uh, Gen 1. If I click on this option, if your own is not in Gen 1, uh, but if you didn't see Gen 1 in default when you are creating the account, dot, and you see Gen 2, you can choose Gen 2. I'm going to show you where you're going to choose Gen 1 again because I want you to be in Gen 1 uh, for a reason. So you can see it here. If you own is you didn't see Gen 1, but you are seeing Gen 2, but there was no Gen 1 at all, no, no cost for RAM, just choose the one. You don't need to be scared of anything. Choose the one you're seeing. So my own is in Gen 1, so I'm going to scroll down. So you're showing all this standard, blah, 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 blah. And it's going to show you all this, all this information. Don't be scared about anything. So guys, once we are done from here, look at it. I chose this one. Then I'm going to leave this one at default. I really don't know why it's showing us this thing. Maybe, uh, I don't know why. Uh, normally this is the one I use. I, I leave it at this particular one. But I don't know why it's showing us red. That is the standard. It's showing us red. I don't know, maybe it was because I've actually used this many times. I don't know why. But let's proceed. Let's proceed first. Normally, I leave it at this one. In your own case, just leave it at this particular one. So, let's go ahead and create our password. I'm going to choose a username now. So, I'm going to choose username. I think I'll use many of these username. Yes. Uh, okay, let me say boss Gideon. Alright, so... I'm gonna put a password and then I'm gonna confirm the password now this password you're choosing is very important please make sure you pay attention to it because this is the password and the username you're gonna be using to log into your RUDP account you are actually creating your RUDP account right now it's not your details you're using in logging into Microsoft or Azure.com the one you are creating here is your administrator account for your machine that is for your RDP machine so pay attention to it and don't forget these particular details here so as I said before I don't know normally this thing you're seeing here this star and uh, the red thing is not supposed to be showing and this thing that is highlighted red is not supposed to be showing I don't know why it's showing but let's just proceed and see how we go so here uh, under this place allow select to pause I'm going to leave it on allow so I'm going to come here don't check this licensing so i'm going to click on next disk click on save so it's going to bring us to bring us to this page i'm going to leave everything the way they are you see I'm, i didn't change anything here i didn't come here and come and change anything here right uh, i didn't change any, anything here either i'm going to click on next then here under this place i'm going to come here uh, you can see it's showing us new machine one blah 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 the rest i'm going to leave it at basic rdp three years i'm going to leave everything like this everything like this your own might not be checked here you can actually leave it like this play this visual machine and existing load balance blah 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 so as you can see i'm not checking anything here i actually neglected everything right so once it's in basic um, i didn't check anything i'm going to click on next <coughs> So it's gonna bring me to this page. So all it, when you bring me to this page, I'm, I just wanna check if everything is still fine. Enable manage storage, that is right. So okay, scroll down. Now all these things, it, if you can check any of these things, it's not bad, but it's actually knowing what you're checking, right? For example, now you can see system assign manager. If you wanna assign this, you can check this button. Some of them are not, but I just read through. But in my own case, I'm gonna just I'm I'm gonna click on next. So once you bring me to this page now, so no proxy placement group found. So I'm gonna click on next. I left it at Gen One. So here, I'm also gonna click on next. 
and I'm going to allow it to actually uh, the save validation field information required. Okay, let me let's go back and know why it failed. Let me know probably what we didn't check proper. All right, guys. I think what we are facing right now is for this. Uh, they are not allowing me to create a, another account, another machine because I have created multiple machines here. I will create and delete some. I've created many machines already. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to log in back to our former Azure account. That is the new one we just created now. I'm going to log out of this account. Let me sign out or sign in with a different account. Let me sign out of this account. Then uh, we have to complete our re registration then and put in our details. In just a moment let me sign in this is a new account we created so since i can't use the old account i have used it too much they are not allowing me to create a new machine so let's go ahead and create the new machine but in your own case you're not going to have any issue because it's going to be your first time of doing this right so you're not going to have any issue at all you signed out of your account let me refresh this page now If you remember, this was the place we stopped in when we are creating the account. So I'm going to actually complete it now, putting my card details again and to give it a try again. So let's know if we're going to be, uh, if it's going to work with this. This is a new account. That is a new account I created here. Let me just use uh, another card details here. I'll, I'll try verifying the former card details. So I'm going to pause the video right now and do that quickly. And once I'm done, I'm going to click on sign up. Let's see if you can, that is going to actually work out for us. So once I'm once I'm done, you can see it's confirming my card. Let's check if it's gonna confirm it. I just put in my card details. You say you are not eligible for a free for free account. Uh, don't worry, you can still use Azure Pay uh, with no front You can see. the reason is because I've actually used this particular card. That was why they said I wasn't eligible. Oh, so because I was trying to strike the free account, what they they just suspected that because I already have an account with them. And I'm using the same details, the same account details to try a free account with them. So they felt that I am actually not eligible. But in your own case, you're going to get eligible because it's going to be your first time of trying this, right? Uh, it's going to be your first time of trying this. All right, guys. So uh, I think I logged in back to my old account. That is again. Let's try doing this all over again. Let's know why we experienced the error we experienced before. So we, I believe, we are actually going to be able to change, uh, check what where the error is coming from. So let's assume you've logged into your Azure account again. Let's try this one more time and know if we face this in. Um, so I'm going to come here and click on Visual Machines again. So in your own case, just pay attention. Don't you are not going to experience any error I I'm experiencing now because I am using it over and over. Like I've created multiple accounts, so I'm trying to know where it's coming from. But over the time, I've never had any issue with them. I'm going to click, come here and click on Create Visual Machine. Just watch it and follow, his, follow the steps again. So all the basics, I'm going to come here and leave this one the way they are. So I'm I'm going to come here instead of choosing. Let me give it a name. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to call this one RDP 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 Machine 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 something like this so uh then let me say uk rdp uk machine let me just call it rdp uk machine okay okay uh, rdp machine so instead of choosing this I, I believe because i've been using this country so let me choose another country here let me say let me choose another location uk i'm going to choose uk south europe south now that error has disappeared so um let's assume Let's check that out and see if it's going to work. So I'm actually going to come here and use this information. Okay, I'll put in Buzz Gideon. Then password. Then confirm password. Okay. So once I'm done, I'll leave everything the way they are. I'll click on next. 
then I'm in this place I'll click on next it's loading so it's gonna bring me to this place okay so I think we are good here I'm gonna come here and click on next again so I'm gonna come here and click on next okay enable so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna change anything here I'm gonna click on next again so it's on the tag section now that is the advanced section I'm not gonna type anything or change anything I'm gonna leave everything the way they are I'm gonna click on next again so here assume you all selected gen 2 before so here you can select gen 1 click on next again so we are here I'm gonna click on create review let's wait for the review now all right you can see validation passed now initially our validation was not passed right it, we had error at this stage and we, we have actually solved this error and the reason why we had that error was because I have used one location for like three times so it's telling me that I can't be able to use that same location again so right now we have passed that error so I'm gonna go through everything again but you can see it I'm gonna come here and click on create I'm gonna click on create so it's gonna load for a moment it's creating let's just wait for it okay is initializing initializing submitting same process okay the, now it's gonna show us deployment is in progress so let's wait for the deployment so this one is gonna take like a few minutes like two or three minutes so and as it's showing things is gonna be dropping here you're gonna see IODP machine uh, so the different resources are going to be dropping here so let's just wait for it so you can see here your deployment is complete right your deployment is complete so I'm gonna come here and click on go to resources we are done with the redeployment so that is just it so we are going to resources right now can you see that so guys at this stage we are like 90 percent done with RDP so I'm going to come here and click on connect so I'm going to click on RDP so uh it's gonna load to my download page so from next time i'm gonna download it now so here you can see my rdp is fully ready guys this is awesome this is wonderful right free for your first month i'll be using it i mean this is actually a free stuff guys so you can actually use it to create your account so i'm going to teach you what to do after creating your account right so i'm going to come here and click on download i already have it on this mac but let me just download it again i'm going to click on download you're going to click the name rdp machine yeah let me just leave as an name save so you can see it's downloading here can you see it here it's loading it's downloaded fully i'm going to open it let me open it it's connecting remember i think i have one that is running on the background hope it will not crash with that one let's just watch what is going to happen so it asked me to log in so let me log in now this that login details i created when i was creating the machine i'm gonna put it here i think i use something like boss gideon if i can remember then i'm gonna put the password i use okay let's check if this login details is correct it's correct i'm gonna click on continue it's connecting Okay, connecting to this port boom guys we are logged in to our rdp you can see now it's going to open a new window for me just watch what is happening you can see what is happening guys you can see what is happening still loading just give it some time we are loaded to a new brand window this is a new window this you can see it here this is now remember i was browsing with 
Mac computer and right now I'm now in Microsoft computer I'm um, it's showing now what is gonna is actually showing as if I'm in UK I'm in UK I'm browsing from UK right so that is what is showing oh hold on. so it's gonna bring you to this page in your own case don't be scared it's gonna actually bring you to this page so don't think you have actually missed it you're gonna see a page like this so if you scroll down I'm I'm gonna click on local server so you can see everything is okay everything is very fine just checking let me scroll down a bit and confirm something everything is quite fine right so okay let me check something RDP machine is off alright guys so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna actually minimize this and it's gonna bring me to our RDP this thing you can see it here this is it and if I come to network you can see my network is still connected can you see it here network is still connected so one thing here is you can now start browsing on this window now any browser even if you go and download Chrome from can actually go ahead and download your Chrome now move your Chrome to this browser. This this what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually minimize this now. So just a moment. Let me minimize it. Okay. So once I minimize this now, I'm gonna go ahead here. I I'm gonna minimize it. So it brings me to my main my main computer. That is my local computer. That is the one I'm, I used to record this video. The one I'm using to browse. This RDP own is actually a dedicated computer, right? You can see it. You can see now. I have two working here. I have RDP Gideon machine. This Gideon machine is see RDP, right? And I also have at the background. I have this one uh, RDP machine. This one I just downloaded now. So right now, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to come here and download either google chrome or epic browser but i prefer using epic browser to uh register my things now if you are using epic on your local computer to register to the bank without rdp is actually going to work but it's likely to backfire right so i prefer i recommend using rdp and if you want to use rdp as i we are working through getting rdp now for free you all you need to do is after creating a clickback account you can leave it for like two days don't use it after two days you can now start using it on your local computer like anywhere you are in the world you can use it on your normal computer that is without using rdp you can actually use it so even if you decide not to use rdp again you can use it but some people will tell you that to be on a safer side you use use it with rdp myself i've been using my clip bank account on my local computer over the years i've made a couple of money from the from the account and I'm not actually using it with RDP, I'm using it for free. Like I'm using it on the normal local computer, right? So, but what we're gonna do first is actually to browse on this RDP machine, to browse here. If you see now, you can see that we don't have any browser. This, uh, what is it? Is it Explorer that I see here? It's not actually, it's not gonna work for us. We actually need to download the browser. So I'm gonna come here now, minimize and download the browser. I will come here. Let's assume I wanna download Epic Browser. You can see download Epic Browser so uh it because why i put this akp was because i'm using mac and the kind of browser i want to download is going to this is going to is only going to work for you on uh what is it called on windows but i'm using mac so for me to download windows one i have to put akp download epic browser for pc akp so i'm going to look for that of windows uh epic browser secure blah, 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 I think let's check this one out okay let's go down then guys you can actually download chrome whichever one you want to download this one you can see it's showing mac because i'm using mac to browse so we can download this one let me look for that of windows but i think i downloaded it before so just go ahead and download it let me look for it on my on my uh what is it called let me go to my my finder you can see it here that is it here so all i need to do is actually to copy this one is from windows all i need to do is to click on copy 
I'm going to come here and copy it. Copy. Copy Windows. So come here to RDP machine. Guys, I'm going to paste it here. Because I mean the raw file before, not the raw file I downloaded. That is the uh, XZ file. So that is it here, right? So I want to actually install it. I will go ahead and install it right now. I'm going to click on it. It's supposed to actually appear like in window file. Let's allow it to load. I want to install it. Let's give it a moment. Okay, that is fine. So you can see now it's loaded. So it's actually installing. I think this account, this creating playback account is actually taking too long. It's because it involves a lot of process to so pay attention, right? So this video is actually going to be very, very helpful for you guys. If you believe it's downloading, I think downloading a bit completed. So let's allow it to finish installing. Guys, if you like this video, are getting value from this place, just on the comment section right now, let me know. Tell me you are getting value on the comment section on this YouTube. You are watching on YouTube. On the comment section, just type, I am getting value. Now, I'm going to be doing something. I'm going to be giving a do giveaway. Um, I'm going to be selecting those who have commented on this comment section. Even if you didn't share this video, just make sure you comment. And those who actually did this, I'm going to actually be selecting them. And I'm going to be gifting them something, right? So, randomly, I'm going to be selecting them. I'm going to be gifting them. On my next video, I'm going to be announcing how it's going to work. So, I want to start doing giveaway on this channel. Like, don't give away. I will give you now some dollars for free. And all you need to do is, I'm going to tell you what to do at the end of the video. And once you do it, in the next video, I'm going to announce those who after I won the giveaway, I'm going to send their money straight to their account. If it's their local account, if it's doing PayPal, but most of the giveaway is going to be using, I'm going to be using either PayPal or cryptocurrency. So you make sure you have one of them. If you don't have PayPal account, have a crypto wallet. So you can actually be getting my free giveaway. So right, having said that, make sure you comment. If you're getting value, tell me you're getting value. And make sure you like this video and you subscribe. So the next thing for us to do now is to go ahead and create a Kili Bank account. So I'm going to come here, log into. We are seeing our RDP. I'm going to come here now and click on Click Bank. Click Bank. You can see this a new, a brand new browser. Dot com. So I did everything from scratch. So you can actually follow up every single thing, right? So it's going to load me to this page, clickbank.com. But before then, let me show us what we're going to do. Uh, I'm not sure you here. Let me just let me show what's gonna do. Even though with this RDP, we are browsing like we are in UK, but if you're using Epic, you still want to actually enable come here and actually enable your uh, what is it called? Uh, let me cancel Clipbank again. Let me cancel this particular site. You still want to come here and enable your encrypted proxy. I'm gonna click on enable. Yes, enable yes so it have i have enabled encrypted proxy so if i click here you can see that a piece encrypted proxy is enabled so which country i'm going to select uk so i'm going to select uk yes that means it's going to be encrypted for uk right so if i click, click here now you can see that this thing is now selected on uk right so but if you're using chrome you don't need to be scared once you're using RDP, you are actually secured, right? Because you're gonna be browsing like you are in that particular country. Your RDP is showing, but I am actually using a pick here. That's why I have to use it. Do the same thing here, so you can see where I went through. I click on. I first click on this particular thing. that looks like an umbrella. It's called umbrella button. From there, I choose that thing. Uh, the Peter Prozzi, and I click on yes, and he brought this particular green one now, and I click on it. So once I'm done, I'm going to go back and click on ClickBank again. ClickBank.com Boom. All right. So once we're here, we're gonna click on sign up. We're gonna click on sign up. I think oh sorry, I'm in sell page. Uh let me go back. Sorry. Where I am is not actually it's actually for 
let me go back and click on home make sure you are in home then click on sign up good so once we are here now we're going to select the country we actually want to use in my own case i'm going to be using uk i told you guys why i love using uk united kingdom and my first name i'm actually going to use my real name please guys now let me tell you what why you can use your real name now those of you who are in the master class now you of course have actually walked you through most most of these things now check in the payment account creation account uh creation details you're going to see a pioneer how to create a pioneer account how to create a worker and all the accounts there so watch the pioneer details because this video is just a single video i'm not going to actually be going ahead to create a pioneer account here because in your clip bank you actually want to link your clip bank with your pioneer account and the reason for that so that you can be able to withdraw your money using pioneer so so your pioneer account make sure the same name you have in your pioneer account is the same name you're going to be used you're going to be using here and you can't be able to forge that of pioneer because you have to verify it using your id card and all that so i'm going to be using my name let me assume uh, i'm not going to be using this account for anything so let me just use a random name for this i'm going to just say i'm going to use prince gideon for instance prince gideon because i don't want to use this account for anything i already have three working clipback account i'm using and uh, i'm using to make money anywhere in the world so this number here i've taught you guys how to go about this thing before so let me go back to our normal computer and show you that thing now so i'm going back to my uh, normal computer so i want to go to receive sms.co so on that receive sms.co i want to actually come here and look at the country i want to receive sms from so i want to click choose united kingdom six numbers okay so one thing here is that clickbank is not going to send you sms or like digital 24 if it is digital 24 you have to verify your phone number and that is why i use it i use this particular on on, on this thing uh I use this particular one on digital 24 you can as well get random sms or this or you can get this particular uh, software machine you can buy it for one dollar where you can actually get real uk number you're going to be using for your own but i think it's actually a dollar per month you're going to be paying a monthly subscription of one dollar per month but you're going to be maintaining that particular number to be yours so and which you can actually pay for you can pay for 12 months 12 months is just 12 dollars and you pay for one full year you'll be using the number for a full year so but in today's training let's use this one i'm going to click on this now this first one for instance so let me just copy the number this where is the number again i think i chose this one let me choose this first one all right that is the number here i'm going to actually copy the number copy so uh i want to go back to our rdp now oh looking for this all right that is it here right so i'm gonna paste our number here so let me just remove it okay paste so once I've pasted it, because I chose UK here, so chose UK here. I want to come back here and put my email address. Let me assume I'm going to use this particular email address I use for my Outlook. Or oh, I think I have a new email address, Prince Gideon or something like that. Let me just confirm this email address a minute. Let me confirm the email. The email address. Okay, I think that should be Prince Gideon. Looking for a, an email I have not used on Cleveland before. Alright, so that is the email. So once I'm done, I'm going to put in my password. Oh, let me put in a strong password.
ok ici c'est at least to uppercase at least to special character ok let me go back again Alright, so that is it. Once I'm done, I'm gonna click on this one. I have read and agreed. Continue terms and services. I'm gonna scroll to the end. So to the end of it, accept conditions. Then this one is checked already, and I'm gonna click on join click back. So it says congrats you are eligible for seven days free fire. I'm gonna click on uh, let's say save. You are eligible for seven uh, for seven days free trial. Yes, I'm interested. It's loading. I think that should, that is, that was not click bank. Sorry, that that was um, uh, this thing. What is it called? Men's pack. So click this click bank on click bank is gonna give you attention, click bank vendors. An affiliate, so you're gonna ask you to download the license. Uh, um, this is I'm gonna click on that. So once I'm done, it's gonna bring me to this page where it's gonna ask me to complete my information. I'm gonna click on complete it here. So once I, I come to this page now, where you can see my name, Prince, uh, my son name, uh, Igwe, then um, my email, then recovery email is optional. Let me just say. I want to use recovery email. Okay, I don't want to put recovery email for some reasons. Then, because I'm not using this account, so I'm actually going to see you're going to see United Kingdom, that is it. Your mobile number, that is it. Your street address and all these other address, we're going to come back to our main account. Let's go back to our main account and get all those other ones. So I'm going to come here. So now, so many persons is going to tell you that you shouldn't use random UK verification now. Those who are teaching you that if you want to create an account or click back, you should go and pay someone on Fiverr to create it for you, and then you pay someone five dollars on Fiverr, or you pay someone, or if you have someone abroad, that if you have someone that is in UK or US that can create your click back account for you, that is fine. When the person create the account for you, you need going to leave the account for like two days, and you can start using the account in Nigeria. But now, if instead of paying someone on Fiverr, create the account yourself. On my account on ClickBank, I create it myself, right? Not that I don't have people over there, but I create my account myself, and I've been using it over the years. Now, let me tell you something. If someone on Fiverr created it for you, you see, like, you, the person see, is still using his details. Someone on Fiverr who is actually is, is actually uh, on Upwork is a freelancer, and he's using his details over there, right? And some of these guys that open that gig on Fiverr that is tell you that I will create an account on ClickBank for you, they are Nigerians. They are even in Nigeria. Some of them are pure Nigerians. You're not going to know. They are doing what I'm doing right now and they are using it to create. They will tell you on Fiverr, I'm good. I will create a ClickBank account for you anywhere, anywhere you are in the world or in Nigeria. You're going to see gigs like that. Some of them are pure Nigerians. And when you offer some of those YouTubers, you see who even tell you all those things, they are the ones offering that gig themselves. But you don't know. So all you do is when you patronize them, they're going to actually go ahead and fulfill the gig. And you're gonna see pay them so anyhow they are making money but here I'm teaching you I'm not getting anything from what I'm teaching you here because you can see I'm not even putting any affiliate link then you need to buy anything you are getting everything off for free so I make sure you like the video so right now what you're gonna do from here is actually to um, come here and click on UK uh, random address or you can see UK random random address address or random UK address or whatever one you want to use so um, here UK address generator I think there is one I normally there is one I normally use to use uh, but I think I'm not seeing that one here now let's check this one if it's going to give us the complete details we need uh, street city school phone number 
okay united kingdom let's go go down and check no this one is not giving us complete details let me go back let me check the first one <coughs> city phone number code country not at all I can't find that one let's check this third one okay this you see the same thing with the first one right okay let's just make use of this one we are seeing here now let's say we want to make this of this one you can see the address the full address okay no 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 we're not going to use this one we rather use the second one because we rather use the second one like this one this second one now when we let's go back to to click bank and see what they actually they're asking us to provide if we come back here to click bank and they're asking us to provide our street address uh this one is optional our states or previous our city our postal code that is basically what they're asking of street address so let's go back to this place now where we can actually provide these things coming back here they're asking for let me scroll down street this is the city this is streets so i'm going to actually copy this address as a street address copy go back here and paste it paste it here under your streets paste street address So, under the states, we want to look for the state that this thing because I was looking for the one that is going to show us the states and all the information, but we didn't see that one. So, you want to actually look for the states where you can see this thing here is showing us the city. So, let's browse this city. This city is Emba, Embali. Which state is Embali in UK? State which state? Which state is? And Bali in UK so let's look for the state and Bali West Suzes okay let's ask Wikipedia and Bali is a village uh, on Polish blah 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 it's in England can see their district here west west sussex that is a district i'm really gonna copy here that is the name of the district copy this copy so i'm gonna go back here now once i'm back here under the state or because it's asking me mini sorry you're asking me for state Okay, Abri here. Let's look for it. Let's put this one first. Uh, city. But before then, we are looking for the state we saw here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the postal code and all the, all the information right now. So I'm going to come here and paste it under the postal code section. Oh, uh, sorry. Paste. Now you can see it. We are done. The city, this is the street. Then this is the, um, what is it called again? The city. And we've selected all the information here. So you're gonna ask you your pay you name. That is name you're gonna be using for your payment. So let me just say I'm using the same name, Prince Gideon, which I know I'm not gonna use this account for anything. So I don't have any name like Prince Gideon. So that is not my name. My name is. So I'm gonna use Prince Gideon. I say the same name. 
as a pay name now this pay name is actually the name you're using your pioneer please guys if you don't know how to click pioneer account go and watch that particular video now if you are a master class watch that video or i think i have a, a, a video on a training on how to create a pioneer account on, on my youtube channel so look for that on the click bank uh sorry on the after marketing uh section of my channel so now i'm going to come here and click on i want so you must have created your pioneer account right so i want to become a word promote products as an affiliate so then the company revenue you can actually choose maybe this particular one 100 k to 250k dollars it's not bad so you want to click on save changes right so uh, your profile has been updated successfully so once it's updated i'm going to come here and click on this particular one dashboard so it's going to bring me to this page so you can you see it who is going to ask me to you can see i have an existing account hello prince attention blah 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 so um let me come here now you can see i'm already logged in already i'm logged in if i come here and i i'm looking for something So what we want to do is we actually want to go to marketplace right so just click on that three dot ally and click on marketplace and boom we are actually in the marketplace that is we have our clickback account selected or created right so i would have loved to talk about payment like to put in your payment details and all that this is our marketplace where you can actually promote offers if i come here now and, and click on this search button here it's going to load me to um this place where i'm going to see the uh products that are ranking number one and all that i think number one now you see this uh Okin okinawa salt belly which i told you guys that i'm currently promoting this product um, i've made a lot of money from this particular product because i started promoting this product when it was not part of the gravity on clickbank when it was i i that was when i used clear cb engine and the product was just coming off from cb engine and i picked the product i started promoting the product then so i'm only using pure organic traffic i'm not running any ad on it everything is pure organic traf traffic i'm using to get offers as in sales in this particular product so right now if i come back here um i'm going to come to settings payment settings so you can see connect with paper if you if you are new clickbank vendor and want to receive other payments via paper you must connect your paper account so you can actually use paper right now on clickbank of course you all know that when we started when back then when we started using paper uh, clickbank paper clickbank have not started using paper then they're only using pioneer right so you can only use pioneer back then to connect your account you can use paper as of then to connect your account so guys that is basically what we are uh, how to create account on clickbank so what we want to do here right now is we actually want to link our account you can see link your existing account nickname so we have not actually done that so i'm going to come here and click on um let's click on our account so i'm going to click on create account so then okay nickname hold on so let me say i'm gonna give you a scene boss gideon boss gideon okay boss gideon congratulations the nickname is available lowercase boss Gideon created successfully you can see I've actually created our account here 
so that is um the account i'm going to be using here right link so le let me log in first okay my nickname i'm going to put boss gideon again boss gideon so of course you actually have to be click back over the time unable to verify so i'm let me put in my password let me be sure showing me Let me be sure. Okay. Let's watch. Let me come here a minute. All right. We are seeing the platform, we are seeing the interface. Now, why are we actually trying to cre create a link like creating this uh, nickname? Because this is what ClickBank recognizes. This name ClickBank is going to be using. For, we can't be able to do anything on ClickBank without creating this name. We can't even promote any offer. So, right, let me come back here now and click on settings, payment. Okay. let's go and link we have created our account let's go and link it right away so coming back to this place what we need to do is to actually say you must confirm email address before you fully associate with this clickback account if you receive confirmation instructions on email uh then all you need to do is to click uh, click send confirmation to this email so once i click on send confirmation to this email a confirmation is going to a confirm a confirmation email is going to be sent to uh, this particular email address now. So once it's being sent, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back there and confirm the email. Once I've confirmed the email, I can now be able to come back to uh, uh what is it called account payment details and link my payment details. And what I'm going to be linking there is my Pioneer payment details. So I don't know if you've gotten value on this ClickBank or account creation because of our video is. We we'll have our lengthy videos right now. I think this video is more than over an hour already. So, guys, please, if you got value from this video, let me know you got value. If you have any question you want to ask, you have any question at all, or you want me to make any other video relating anything, just let me know what you want me to do next in the comment section. Let me tell me you want me to create a, a video on social chain. You want me to create a video on social chain? Let me know that in the comment section. Feel free to ask your question, right? So, and uh, if you're in the master class, of course, we will be starting our challenge uh, by tomorrow. Next, we're going to be starting our challenge that is our uh, zero to five thousand dollar challenge in, uh, in the next thing. It's going to be a few a full case study. All right, guys, so feel free to ask your question. See you guys in the next training. Thank you so much for paying attention and for creating your clickback account. And for those who are doing that for the first time, I want to say congratulations. See you guys. Bye.